Asian Network. Mavis Yacht, such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, it's an honor being here. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, your career spans several years, but I feel like in the past year, you've just been really outspoken. Yeah. Would that be a fair assessment? I have always been, but somehow, um, yes, since the past uh, one or two years, I've been, because that is when I realized that uh, being an actor is not enough. I should actually use my voice for the causes that I believe in. And then I thought, you know, it's all about being fearless, which I have always been with my roles in my career and my choices. But then I was like, you know, why not um, raise voice against uh, issues that I feel strongly for? So that's why I've been very vocal about things and I'm glad people respect that and, and you know, they, they listen to me. Firstly, congratulations on your Damgai Emtiaz. Thank you very much. That's the fourth highest civilian honour in Pakistan. Yeah. How did it feel when you found out you were going to receive that honour? I was flying so high. It literally took me like a week to let it sink in that it's actually happening. And um, it's an amazing feeling. Of course, you are given an award by the president of Pakistan and, you know, to people who excel in their profession. So, of course, you feel great to be in the same list of legends who have received it and heroes. So it's, it's of course, a beautiful feeling. You did receive some backlash, though. You were cyberbullied and trolled, with some people questioning your credibility absolutely, to receive this award. Absolutely. That must have been upsetting. Listen, being a public figure, I am used to uh, trolling and criticism, and it's okay, everyone has their own opinion. But, you know, um, questioning my character and my credibility was crossing the line. And, uh, you know, the very fact that I could have received that honor because of my... Uh, achievements and my contribution to Pakistani cinema and art was overlooked and it was assumed that I slept my way to the award. And, uh, you know, there was a whole list of men with whom my name was linked with. You, in fact, threatened legal action against a website. Of course, I had to. That's the thing, because, you know, that was crossing the line and I had to um, uh, stand up and fight for it because that is one thing that I can't take, you know. Nobody can uh, question my credibility and my character. They don't even know me. You know. That must have been really disheartening for the fact that your films have done so well. Your work does speak for itself. Does it feel like Pakistan is still judgmental with the way they look at women, with the way they think women have achieved what they have? It is unfortunate because no man has ever been asked. I hate to use the woman card because to me, being a woman is a sign of strength and not weakness. But you know, it was the people who, who made me uh, come to the point where I had to speak up and, and it became a, an issue because no man has ever been asked. So um, yes, uh, as artists, we deserve respect and acknowledgement. And uh, our mindsets are changing, but still we need to work on that mentality because artists all around the world are given the respect and the level of um, acknowledgement which they deserve for the kind of work we do. We generate money, uh, you know, um, 2017 our movies made two, around 2.5 billion rupees and 2018 approximately 5 billion rupees. So it is a growing business and, and we're all contributing into making, you know, bringing a softer image of Pakistan in front of the world. So I think all we need is respect and acknowledgement. That's all we ask for. In fact, you said, judge me by my work, not by my morals. What did you mean by that exactly? See, what happens is uh, we belong to a very glamorous industry. It's, it's all glitz and glamour and, and we have to show some skin. We have to wear Western clothes. I have to dance on Billy because I'm an actress and that's a character that I'm playing, right? So being a part of this industry does not mean that we've forsaken our morals. We've given up on our values. You know, so uh, that assumption that being an actor or an actress, we uh, are, you know, I can't even use those words. So um, that needs to change. That really needs to change because the kind of work we do, it's, it's not a nine to five job. We go through strenuous hours of working and uh, under extreme conditions and, and, you know, no matter how you're feeling inside, you have to play a role, you have to put up a face. And that is not easy. And, and we, we as artists are very emotional and sensitive people. And we haven't forsaken our morals, for sure. <laughs> in fact, you mentioned Billy there. That was a song you did in Namalum Afrad. And like you said, it's the choice of clothes that you wear that maybe some people find yeah. too liberal or westernized. But do you see attitudes changing in Pakistan? Yeah, very much so. They, they are changing and uh, still we are a long way <laughs> to, to go. 
but uh, I think it is slowly and gradually changing, yes. yes. But you are definitely worthy of that title. You are Pakistan's most successful film actress. Three of your films are in the top 10 highest grossing Pakistani films of all time, those being Punjab Ne Jaungi, Javani Pirnayani, and Atrin Law. Your films have grossed a combined 160 crore rupees. That's a lot that you have contributed yes, towards imagine. the industry. And, and overlooking that is like, it's so unfair, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How does it feel when people repeat your uh, accomplishments? Like I just reeled off that list, you know, how does that make you feel? I think it only, I feel that it's uh, just a beginning. Honestly, really? I never <laughs> let this get to my head. I'm like 160, I want to make 100, you know, yeah. a, a, a thousand more. Yeah. So it's always um, a wanting to do more and striving for more. So for me, it's never that, okay, I've done well enough, no. Is there pressure to maintain that su success though, Mevish? There's always, <laughs> always a <laughs> pressure. Describe to me the process. Like, for example, I think with Giovanni Pirnayani, it's a bit different because it was an ensemble film. There was a lot of other people. But when Punjab Ne Jaungi happened, for example, what sort of pressure did that add to you after having been the leading actress, this film having smashed all records? You know, how do you go about choosing your next project after um, that? Uh, every movie, the pressure just keeps adding up. But uh, Punjabi Jaungi, we never expected would become such a huge hit. We yeah. knew that people would, would like it and would love it and would, would at least watch it once. Yeah. But I've had people come to me and say we've watched it like 10 times or 12 times or 15 times in the cinema. Yeah. So imagine people spending their hard earned money, which is not a small price in Pakistan. Films, watching a movie is expensive. Yeah. But still people going up to, to the cinemas, going out and watching the movie, that really adds a lot of responsibility and pressure. And you know, we have to promise entertainment. If they're spending money on us, we have to make sure that it's a good film. So of course I go through, uh, I really make sure that the character that I'm playing is different from the ones that I've done before. And then the team, the script, director, of course, and who, who the rest of the actors are. So yeah, I try to make sure and do some calculation, which according to me would work. And uh, thankfully it has worked well so far. Your last film, Load Wedding, also dealt with the issue of dowry in South Asia. It also addressed the stigma attached to widows. You played a widow in that film. Is it important for you to tackle social issues through your films? I think uh, films uh, are great uh, for entertainment, but at the same time, if we can uh, you know, put across a message that uh, is very important and prevalent in our society, issue like dowry and stuff, I think it's very important and if you can do it, great because uh, movies work as an institution as well and you know changing, it really helps in changing the mindset of the people. So imagine Punjab Assembly, there are legislative measures being taken for, for you know, this... Um, dowry, anti-dowry. Anti-dowry yeah. and, and I think uh, this is the power of cinema because if you can entertain people but at the same time give them a message that can uh, you know reach to to where it should go i think it's amazing and i i feel so blessed that i am a part of this industry where i can you know contribute to the society in in, in whatever limits i am in i can still contribute and that's a great feeling your, your characters also have a strong sense of female empowerment all the films i've mentioned so far you play really empowered women do you reject characters, scripts, where you don't sense the woman being so empowered? Yes, I do, I do, because uh, then there's no point. But can you tell me, the majority of scripts that are being written, are they being written for empowered women or are they still being written for the bichari? Because I speak to so many actresses who say, well, we can only do these roles because these are the only roles that are being written. Would you agree? I don't agree to that. Maybe in dramas, yes, yeah. uh, because that's what sells, unfortunately. And uh, with films, I think a lot of different characters are being written a lot of out-of-the-box movies are coming though there might not be the right there might not be the audience for those films you know unfortunately but they are coming they are coming up with uh, different storylines and I am sure there are some eye candy roles for, for female uh, leads I, I'm sure there are but uh, when I'm when I when you're talking about me when it comes to me I make sure that it is not just an eye candy it has to have more character otherwise it won't challenge me enough you know, because you are at this level of success now, Mevish, where, you know, literally that you are among the, the best well-known movie stars in the country, your films make so much money. Are there decisions that you regret having taken? Like, for example, would you do a Billy today? Well, I definitely would. 
because I believed in Billy the day I listened to the song and I had the meeting with Nabil and Fiza. And even if today I have to do it, I will do it. I don't regret anything. So when you see there are so many celebrities now who say, you know, we don't believe in the idea of item numbers or we don't think that a woman should be objectified in a movie, how do you respond to those claims? Well, uh, first of all, the term that we use, item, item numbers, numbers, this is not really something new. It has always been there, you know, like 40 years ago, 50 years ago, since our industry has been there, the movie industry. It has been happening and it... it as long as it's there and within a situation, it falls into a situation, I think that's what movies are. You create a magical world which you, for two hours, three hours, you, you are supposed to forget about the rest you of the escape, world. You escape, right? You escape. It's yeah. a beautiful escape. So you want to imagine, you want to uh, see romance and dance and colors and everything. It's a part of the entertainment. Why not? What's wrong in it? I don't think there's anything wrong in it. And, um, if it entertains people, that's that's the aim, right? But there are things that you have said that there are things wrong in. For example, you endorsed a skin lightening cream at one point in your yes, career. Yes, in the beginning of my career. Tell me and about, I... as an actress, you know, as a celebrity, uh, the difference in your thinking process, maybe when you were that age doing it, compared to now. What's changed? Well, um, I'm still very young and learning, but when I started off, I was in my teenage and I didn't really know what, what you know, life is all about. Wherever life was taking me, career was taking me, I would just do it. Oh, wow, fairness cream, wow, beauty, glamour, you know, because I grew up watching yeah, those course. ads. And, and in Pakistan, there's still fairness creams on television that are promoted. They are, they, they are. are. And, uh, you know, while I, I, when I was grooming and I was growing up and I was, I was obviously maturing, mentally, I, I realized that I shouldn't really endorse things that I myself don't believe in. I am not fair, I am not extremely fair, I'm, I'm Vitish and I love my complexion and I want girls who are Vitish or who are dark or whatever, they need to own the beauty within themselves. It has nothing to do with the appearance. Yeah. Now that is why I really feel body shaming is one thing that I want to do something about because no matter how you look, no matter to how tall you are, how short you are, how fat or skinny, whatever, it's you, you, it's the beautiful self, you know, you yeah. need to, in, you know, you need to own it and then conquer the world and you all can, right? That's what I want the girls to know. And that's why even um, a lot of people said load wearing Mirab, why was she tan? Why was she dressed like that? And why did she, why was she not she glamorous? Beautiful. What was wrong with I think Meera? that's yeah. that, that was Meera, yeah. you know? You can't exactly. expect a gaon ki ladki, a village girl to be extremely fair or unrealistic beauty yeah. standards. That is the thing, we need, we need to put an end to these unrealistic beauty standards and need to really see beyond that. Because beauty, I think, is, um, is within. And of course, how you are from here, not from what you look like, you know? So I think we really need to own that and work towards that. And I, I am glad that I'm not picking up any of those brands which I don't relate to. Absolutely. Yeah. Your next film, Chalava, we have spoken about with the team. But what I want to know from you is that all your films to date have been with male superstars, whether that be Humayun Said or Fahad Mustafa. Um, this is a female-led film with you on the front of the poster, you really leading it in a sense. Uh, is that an added sense of responsibility? Less than pressure, but responsibility. Yes, it is. And uh, uh, the, the, once you watch the film, it is around these characters, of course, and this girl. Whatever she believes in, whatever she strives for, um, I can't reveal much at this uh, point. But yes, there is a lot of responsibility. And I sat down with Vajahat. We worked on the script together, and I really shared what I feel that uh, you know um, how Zoya would would feel like in this situation. You know, there were some disagreements as well. But I said, you know, she shouldn't break down in tears at this point. But if I was uh, Zoya, yeah. I would be breaking down in tears at this point. So he listened to me and agreed to it. And you know, we, we brainstormed and stuff. So I'm glad that he listens to me and uh, we could really make something which, is, which hits home. This project is very close to my heart because of the character. It's different in the, the subject that we touch, um, you know, the father-daughter relationship. I think that's very special and no movie has really showcase that before. Do you think audiences will accept it though? Because, you know, your colleague from uh, Giovanni Pirneani, Servet Gilani, was telling me it was, it's the men in Pakistan who take the families to the cinema. It's really a patriarchal society still, which we know, and the men are the ones, the, the breadwinners, the money earners, who decide what the f family will go and watch at the cinema. So do you think this will get people out of their houses? I don't agree to that point okay. of view, because I think um, women-centric roles have done really well in dramas. 
and in movies as well. Uh, unfortunately, there are not many, but this is the time we change the perception and right. get people to the cinemas of you know where where. Uh, a female lead is very strong and of course uh, if a guy is the bread uh, winner why is not a woman a bread winner as well so you know it it's it doesn't have to do with the gender i think it's all about the content and what the story is all about be it a woman centric movie or or even about a transgender do you think if they make a movie about uh, on that subject nobody would go watch it of course they will because yeah. it is a subject that people would want to watch yeah. so i think it's all about the content and how you showcase it and how you 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 know Shoot it and everything, but I think uh, it has nothing to do with with who's male taking, leads who's or cinema. female leads sure. or gender. Yeah. Well, a platform that you have had very strong female roles on also is television, but you haven't done a television drama since 2016. 16. Why not, Mavish? What's wrong because with TV? Because they, they don't have good scripts anymore. <laughs> they don't have any but more scripts. But your friends are doing I... good scripts, like Sabah Kamar is doing Cheek at Cheek, the moment, yeah. which That's is the only drama. Uh, drama that uh, in recent times That's I think was... That's the only one I could name as well. <laughs> exactly, right? So uh, in a year, if there's just one drama coming out, what what, what else do you expect and cheek is again if a project like that would be offered to me and I have time for that and I'm not busy with a movie project then of course I'd love to do it because I miss drama I miss TV do you think you can do both uh, is it possible in Pakistan to be a leading film and TV actress you know the kind of following that dramas have it's insane because yeah. there is a TV set in every household right and you don't have to pay for it so it's there and then of course um, uh, TV is has always been big and huge so um, that will actually help gain fan following and help people come to the cinemas because I think the, what really helped with Punjab Nahi Jaungi one of the things was also the the fact that uh, Humayun and I were seen on a TV drama together Dindagi. and it became a massive hit and yeah. people were craving to watch that chemistry and that combination on the big screen so they went to the cinemas and good that the script and everything was so good the yeah. film was, itself was so good that they then got hooked to it so I think dramas only help but only if it's done right if uh, the script is great because now I'm, I'm at a point of my career when I cannot just do any other drama serial yeah. it has to be good enough you're being really selective with your work actually and you did a web series earlier this year called Inaya which was of course directed by Vijayat also starred as for your co-star in Chilava that was actually distributed by Eros which is an Indian in Bollywood uh, film studio that it was an Eros Now original. Um, you have been very vocal though about the way Bollywood has reacted to a recent rise in tensions between India and Pakistan. Uh, for you as somebody who grew up watching Bollywood, uh, how did you find that reaction? I think it's unfair because, um, um, you know, all our actors who have worked um, in Bollywood, unfortunately, were not given the kind of kind of respect we deserve. You know, if you let the actor work, but then at the same time, you don't let them attend the premieres or, uh, you know, even promote their films. So, for example, this was Sajjal with Mom. She wasn't allowed to go and promote yeah, the film. Yeah, and that was sad because, you know, nothing, um, nothing is bigger than the self-respect. And I think because they are such, they're big on nationalism, we need to be as well. And I don't think they need us, honestly. Why do you think they need us? They have their own actors, they have their own stars, they're very content with what they have. I think what we need to do is build our own cinema. We have great directors, we have great movies. I have, I made sure and I made this as a, it, it was a conscious decision that I want to stay here in my country and work for my Pakistani cinema. I don't think people know, Mevish, uh, how much you've actually been offered. You were offered Huma Qureshi's role in Date Ishkia, which was alongside Madhuri Dixit. You were offered Ashwarya Rai Bachchan's role in Fanne Khan. These are big films that you turned down. And at the point of Date Ishkia, there wasn't even tension between yeah, the two but countries. But I was just not sure. Um, because uh, one of the scenes I had a little bit of an issue with and I asked them if they could sh change it or maybe delete that scene and of course they couldn't because it was... This was an intimate scene with Arshad Varsi. Yes, it was and I was not really comfortable with that and I hadn't even done Billy at that time. Yeah. So I was not sure and I have always followed my heart. Whatever I have done in my career, I have taken a lot of risks and calculated risks. but. I, whatever feels right in my heart, I'd do it and I'd just take that leap of faith. But if it doesn't, even if it's Bollywood, I wouldn't really 
do it. And for Nikon, that was during the tensions. Between. Yeah, yeah. And this I think everything dance. happens for a reason, you know. Of course. Well, you might not have done Punjab Nejangi exactly, and Exactly, exactly. Amazing films. You have also called out Amitabh Bachchan on social media. Uh, there were reports that he turned down a film in a film. Pro uh, he turned down a role in a film promoting. But peace he was between supposed to play a Pakistani. India and Pakistan. You said that you were disappointed in him. Yeah, I was because a star of his stature. Bavish, you realize you're taking on like. Amitabh Bachchan here, right? Like, he's not like a little, like, small-time actor. This is like a legend. And that's what you expect from the legends, right? That they would st stand by what's right and what's wrong. That is what I expect because I grew up watching him and I, I really have a lot of respect for him. But again, when stars like him of his stature would take these uh, measures or t these steps, obviously I'll feel disappointed. And, and I actually said that I hope this is not true, but I think it was, and I'm still disappointed. Well, we don't have confirmation of that <laughs> just yet, Mevish. But um, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And all the best with the release of Chalava Thank and you. everything else. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Asian Network.